guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2024 Acura TLX, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Acura in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today. I'm excited because the TLX has undergone a mid-cycle refresh for 2024. The base trim level is now gone for 2024. I wanted to mention that right off the bat. You do get two years or 24,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. You also get a better than Honda powertrain warranty. This is something that kind of struck me when I first started reviewing Acuras. Six years, 70,000 miles on the powertrain in case, in case you were curious there. But ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing it's uh, as i said there is no more base trim level for 2024 first trim level i'm going to mention is technology front wheel drive starting at forty-five thousand dollars. and yes the technology only comes now in front wheel drive then there is the a spec all-wheel drive and again it only comes in all-wheel drive starting at fifty thousand dollars those are the two trim levels for the 2024 tlx Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 272 horsepower at 6,500 RPM, 280 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,600 RPM. That power being sent to front wheels or all wheels through a 10 speed automatic with paddle shifters, zero to 60 time approximately 5.9 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 31 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 21 city, 29 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel. So before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or accelerator acceleration test here in the TLX. What did I mention to you guys? The drive mode. There's a giant circular dial labeled dynamic mode. Those drive modes will include comfort, normal, sport, and individual, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, and the all-wheel drive system engagement actually as well. So now having got all of that out of the way, we got to say, let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first, and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here. All right, in three, two, one, go. Wow. They're actually not bad. I mean, not the very quickest I've tested, not like Porsche, but they're not bad. That surprised me. I thought they were going to suck. I don't know why, but that really wasn't bad. I didn't mind those paddle shifters. They're actually kind of fun. They're kind of feel really high quality as well. So they're not just some matte black plastic. They're actually coated in some kind of silver. They don't feel aluminum, but they are nice. So I don't mind the paddle shifters. That was really nice. So anyways, let's not get back full control to the car. I already did it, um, but let's go ahead and find what we're straight away. Let's put the acceleration here to the test with the TLX having full control. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. So we are in sport driving mode in three, two, one, go. This thing's quick. <laughs> I love it, man. That is plenty of an acceleration. You're not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. There was a slight bit of turbo lag at the beginning, but that's to be expected. But yeah, this thing is plenty quick. That was a heck of an acceleration. I actually really liked that. So absolutely no issues there. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 is your stopping distance goes, that comes in at 127 feet. And that's actually one of the first things I noticed. It does kind of feel like that. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm gonna take it out of sport driving mode there. But it does feel like more of a softer braking feel, more of a luxury-like braking feel as opposed to a sport sedan braking feel. Now, maybe the Type S is different. We'll have to try to review that one at a later date. But in our A-spec that we have today, it does kind of feel like a luxury braking feel. So a luxury sedan as opposed to a sport sedan. I don't mind it personally. I just kind of expected it to be a little more bite to it. That's all. Not as soft of a braking feel. But anyways... Then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're going to get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, that's another one of the first things I noticed. This is such a luxury ride. It's ridiculous. It's such a smooth ride in the TLX. Again, something I didn't expect because I went into this kind of thinking this was going to be a sports sedan as opposed to a luxury sedan. And the luxury sedan is what I'm getting and I really like it. So incredibly smooth ride. So absolutely 100% no issues there. I would love to have this kind of a ride 
in my daily driver, which I don't, unfortunately, but still. Anyways, then touching on uh, steering feel, let me go ahead and put it back into sport driving mode. Definitely a weightier steering feel if you put it in that sport driving mode, and then when you take it out, it instantly loosens up. So a little bit of something for everybody, so I kind of like that. As far as cabin noise goes, again, it kind of leans on the luxury side of things. They're going around 30 miles per hour. There isn't a heck of a lot of wind noise or road noise coming into the cabin, so I really like that as well. And I also should mention there is an acoustic laminated front windshield for both of the trim levels on this one. So that may play a part in our serene cabin that we have on our TLX here today. Then touching on rear visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back because of the shape of this thing, you're not gonna have any issues there. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our strikingly gorgeous 2024 Acura TLX. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Acura TLX finished in majestic black pearl. In case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one, I think it looks absolutely amazing in black. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the number one, indicating that the TLX is built and assembled here in the US, specifically Ohio gozaimasu or just Ohio but anyways let's go ahead and start up front front fascia is going to be slightly revised for 2024 if you guys can tell it is just a slight revision but it still looks good up front there to the sides dual eye LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard automatic feature coming with that along with automatic high beams so when you have your high beams on at night since the vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there so also though with the a spec at least you do get led fog lights down below there they look absolutely amazing as well along with that massive front mount intercooler down there i could see that too for the turbocharged four cylinder so overall this thing looks amazing up front i think this color looks absolutely stunning on the tlx as well but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now let's see our round to the side of this one. Gloss black window surrounds do come standard. Power adjustable side mirrors, they will be heated with LED integrated turret signals, and they do get the reverse gear tilt down feature as well. So when you put it in reverse, they're gonna tilt down slightly so you can see what's on the ground behind you so you don't go running over any scooters or bikes, or whatever the case. You do get the A-spec badging found on the front fenders if you were to go with the A-spec trim level, of course. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, I think they look dang good 19 by 8.5 inch shark gray machine finished alloys and that is a heck of a wheel design they did an amazing job with that i had a uh, double five spoke alloys on my dc5 integra back in the day and they looked good as well so anyways loving the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right someone else let's we are around to the back this is probably my favorite look on this thing all the way to the top of course you got the body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler i love the way that looks as well you got the super handling all-wheel drive badging of course a spec badging as well if you go with the a spec trim level at least you do have these led tail lights which is kind of like uh an infinity mirror effect a little bit i don't know just a little bit and just below it all my favorite part i feel like all of the competition these days is tucking exhaust away but acura they still do it right. You got dual exhaust outlets with some massive chrome tips and they look amazing back there. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. At this point here is that exhaust clip. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the TLX, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is gonna be a button on the key fob. There's a button, of course, on the trunk itself as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 13.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There is a cargo light back there, of course. Then when you lift up underneath of the cargo floor, you will find a fix a flat. Oh. I wish they had a spare tire back there. And hopefully there's an option somehow you can configure for a spare tire under there, but that's what I would personally prefer. And that's actually a big deal for me. So I hope they have an option at least for a spare tire. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That's gonna come in at 34.9 inches for reference. I'm an even six feet tall. That's how much space I have back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. Love that. Rear ventilation also coming standard. Absolutely love that. And you got dual rear USB charging ports, 100% 
love that. My kids would absolutely love staying charged up back there. So big fan of the rear seats and the way they did that. So now making our way up to the front seats, Milano premium leather does come standard. 12 way power adjustable front seats with power lumbar does come standard as well. Heated front seats coming standard, heated and ventilated front seats for the A spec trim level only. So gotta love that. But overall seat comfort was 100% on point. It is a Milano premium leather, but you do have the suede accent in the middle there. That's the black portion. So it's a Milano leather slash suede combination. So it's a one Wonderful seating combination. Seats were plenty comfortable for me. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped and it is a flat bottom if you go with the A spec trim level. So big fan of the steering wheel as well. Then make your way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Acura logo on the one side. It says Acura on the side of the key. Then your other side essentially has all of your buttons. Lock, unlock the button to pop the rear trunk there. And the engine hold button, that's going to be a remote start. So you can warm it up on cold days like today. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, what you guys are looking at is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, which looks plenty fine. And it does adjust the color slightly and kind of the, the loadout as well when you change up the driving mode. So I did like that as well. And there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. So it does give you a little bit of customization. There's actually a G-force meter up there. You can choose to display if you wanted to. Uh, tire pressure for each individual tire. You got to love that. Also your oil life indicator. That's something that Honda and Acura does that I absolutely love because you don't necessarily need to get your oil changed every 3,000 for non-synthetic or every 10,000 for synthetic. You can actually sometimes go a little longer than that. So it all depends. So that is pretty cool. That's up there as well. Trip H or B. Outside temperature, all the other basics that you would expect to find in the gauge cluster. So I don't mind the gauges. Wouldn't have minded though a little more customization or those RSX through back gauges that they sometimes use. I love those too. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality here. Power moonroof does come standard. Love that. Home light controls for up to three Three different garage doors found in the bottom portion of our frameless rear view mirror also coming standard dual zone climate control coming standard 27 colors of ambient lighting gotta love that i'll have to play around with that in a little bit here brushed aluminum trim does come standard wireless phone charger also coming standard so i love the interior quality all but one thing so i love this texturized silver design found in the doors just surrounding the uh kind of shift buttons as well i love the gloss black finishes surrounding the shift buttons but then just behind those shift buttons you have a matte gray plastic finish or matte black plastic finish but that's what I don't like. They could have brought the gloss black down here. They could have brought that texturized silver finish down here. But this car is so freakishly nice. And then they threw in the cheap stuff just surrounding the cup holders here. But speaking of, you do have dual cup holders there just in the center of the armrest here. There's a ton of space in there. There's a little coin slot there too. Got a couple USB charging ports, 12 volt power outlet in there. I love the red contrast stitching found throughout this entire thing. You do have an overhead sunglass holder up there as well. So overall interior quality was plenty fine minus that matte gray plastic. Acura, if you want to make this thing perfect on the inside for me, go ahead and fix that. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. So this is not a touch screen. It is a 12.3 inch infotainment screen. The way you control it is by using the touchpad controller kind of just located behind the uh, shift buttons there. So it's one of those things where it is going to take a little bit of getting used to, to kind of learn how to go ahead and finagle this thing. But I do like the little sound effects that it makes when you actually go through it. So let let me go actually down to ambient lighting here because I said I wanted to check that out. Ambient lighting theme, let's check that out. They have some crazy ambient lighting colors like a uh, Grand Premio. There's a Suzuka, that's a pretty cool name. Automobilissimo, so a lot of Italian sounding names. Alta Velocia, Pacific Coast. I am butchering the heck out of these names, but I like all of these uh, color options that they have in this one. So we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, I don't know. We'll do Suzuka because that sounds just cool. But anyways, kind of difficult to get through those ambient lighting colors, but it is definitely doable. And again, this is just something that I would have to get used to. But of course, you have Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system up there as well. Uh, tons of other stuff you can check out. But of course, your radio information too. So when it comes to the sound systems, there's going to be two of them. One for each trim level, of course. 13 speakers with the technology and then 17 speakers with the A-Spec. So we do have that 17 speaker. ELS Studio sound system with us here today. I traditionally love ELS Studio sound systems, so let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> 
Yeah, that is plenty fine. ELS Studio always crushes it. 17 speakers in the size of the TLX. That is a brilliant sound system in its own, but a bass was plenty fine. Clarity was 100% on point, so absolutely no issues when it comes to that sound system as always but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the tlx in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs that so it can't beat that front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors to tether for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard is Acura watch that gives you a collision mitigation braking system adaptive cruise control lane keep assist road departure mitigation system traffic jam assist traffic sign recognition forward collision warning lane departure warning front and rear parking sensors love that and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts of the TLX in case you guys didn't notice from my tone throughout this video I love this car it's been quite a while since I've driven it I forgot how incredibly wonderful it is incredible styling i like the refresh i liked it before but i like it with the refresh as well excellent safety you can't beat an iihs top safety pick plus so big fan of that as well all-wheel drive availability is great although it doesn't come in the technology anymore if you want all-wheel drive go with the a spec that's what i would personally do because we got a ton of snow around us here today but there's a couple things that i would change about the tlx to really make it perfect for me one of those things of course being the matte gray finish surrounding the touchpad controller and cup holders here i would either bring the silver finish down there or i would make that gloss black and that would perfect the interior but there is one thing i would 100 percent change that would make this car sell so much better and that is the name so acura brought back the integra name I loved that. I grew up with the Integra. I grew up with the DC5 Integra. That was my first car. And I thought it was brilliant of them bringing back that wonderful name as such a long history, a legendary history, if you will. Why did I say that word? Because the TLX should be called the legend, in my opinion. If they renamed this the Acura Legend, I bet you it would sell so much better. The legend back in the day was a legend. So that is something I would definitely change if I were Acura as well. If you change those two things, Acura, I think you would sell this thing like crazy if you're not already doing it. I don't even know, but I love this car. Let me know what you guys think of the TLX in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.